YouTube. Oh dear God. Put a hat on. Driver's lounge. Too early for the backwards hat. So here I am. Four o'clock in the morning. I flip on uh, the old YouTube. As we do. As we do. And uh, here's a, a channel. Trucking channel. Talking about. I'm a lease operator. You know. I'm a lease operator. Like I don't know. What, what is lease operator? When someone says there's a, there are, they are a lease operator. And that's like saying I'm a wannabe owner operator, right? Like I'm posing as an owner operator. I, I don't have the, the criteria that I need as far as finances. I don't have the aptitude as far as intelligence to run my own business. Like I want to be an entrepreneur, but I'm going to need some help, basically, right? Basically. So here's this, like, wannabe owner-operator hashtag, or not hashtag, but slash lease operator. And they're, they work for uh, Swift. Okay, here's the catch to all of this. I've been watching this guy for a little while. And he's one of these uh, job hoppers, right? He's got 10 years in the business and he goes from job to job. At one point, he couldn't keep a job for more than like a month or two. Um, and then finally, you get to a point where they look at your DAC report. They say, we can't hire you. You don't stick around, man. We're going to put you in a truck. You're going to get pissed off. You're going to leave. It's going to end up costing us money. Right? Okay, so finally he finds a job, and it, he gets a job from his friend. His friend gets him a job. Now, keep in mind, this guy is like the the, the, the cheddar cheese of trucking. You know, he's a 10-year veteran. He, uh, you know, he's a... He's the, uh, he's the general freight dry van hauler of all haulers. And, uh, and, 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 you know, he would, he, if you asked him, he'd say like, you know, get out of my way, uh, watch me go and, uh, and take notes basically. So anyways, he gets himself and he's done lease purchase in the past. Like I said, right. One of these people that can't can't get can't, can't make their navigate their way through the simplest things of life and yet I'm I want to be a lead, I want to be an owner operator but I just don't have my shit together enough to do it on my own so can I get some help and of course all these companies are like over here over here we got a fish on come on down we got another one we got another guy that thinks they can do it. <laughs> so he gets into this lease program at Swift, leaves the job that his buddy gave him, you know, knowing full well, like, look it, I shouldn't be, I think he was there like six months or something, which is a good little, it's a good length of time for this individual, right? So he's feeling pretty proud of himself. And of course he gets on his YouTube channel, which is pretty substantial. And he tells all his viewers like, oh man, I got, I got this. And every job he gets is the next best thing, of course, right? It's like, but you don't understand. This time I'm going because of A, B, and C, and it's going to be different, and, and life is going to be great. And, uh, and this time it was, I'm going to, over to, uh, to Swift because um, they've got this fancy new load board and that's all I want. I want to be in control of my own destiny. Right? Does this all sound familiar? Like daydreamers. Like straight up dreamers. Right? You don't own a credit card. Right? You don't have... Like, you don't have a, a bank account with money in it. 
But you want to go and you want to you want to run a you want to run a business. Okay, well then that makes sense, right? To a truck driver, that makes perfect sense. They look at these they look at these companies and they go, "I'm doing you a favor, you're doing me a favor, right? Right, guys?" Right? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Right, guys? Is that the way it's going to work, right? Fair, fair. Delusion. That's what I call it. Complete delusion. They are a business. They are going to make money off your back. Right? But of course, all I, this is an opportunity, they call it. It's an opportunity. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the point here. So this video was, he's been at this company now a month. And this brain surgeon, right? The brain surgeon of all brain surgeons decides, while I'm bobtailing in a Swift truck, which you're a target right off the hop when you're driving a Swift truck, okay? 10 years in the business, keep this in mind, 10 years in the business, bobtailing with a Swift truck, he decides he's gonna go park at a convenience store parking lot for an overnighter. To do his to do his uh, ten hour, right? I'm gonna go and I'm going to park at a 7-Eleven in a, in a, in, a, in an area that I'm completely unfamiliar with. I think this is gonna be a good idea. So of course, wakes up to a boot on his car. Now it gets better. It gets better. So here's this person that's incapable of actually running like actually running a business because they pretend to be adults, right? But they're not adults. They, they don't have the capacity to navigate their way through life in an adult way. And they, they rely on people to, to do the heavy lifting for them. Basically, that's how it works, right? And they're in this perpetual, this perpetual uh, state of like, I, I'm going to put one foot in front of the other. I'm going to make a right decision. And, and and they can't get out of their own way, right? It's just this, like, inability to comprehend the things that are obvious to actual adults. To people who uh, actually have, like, you know, been there, done that. So he wakes up to a boot on his car. And as a, a, a wannabe owner-operator, right? A poser of owner operators, a lease operator. Look at me go. I'm a big shot over here. Okay. The first thing that comes to his mind is not to call his wife or his, you know, mom or dad or because he doesn't, like I said, he don't have money, right? He's out there running a business with, with no with no money. Yeah. And, and they tell him, it's going to be $1,800 to take this boot off your car. And what goes, $1,800? He said, I've only been here 10 hours. And they say, yeah, but you see that sign over there? You know, <coughs> this and that. <coughs> and, um, you know, I can imagine, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I see it now, <laughs> right? And, uh, and so, you know what he does, right? Come on. Come on, let me know. Ding, 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 ding. What's he do? Hello, Swift? Hello. Uh, got myself in a little bit of a pickle here. If I was if I was Swift or any other company, you know, I, okay, what do you want me to do? Well, I just thought, like, you know, I don't have the $1,800, right? Like, can you check around? I, I mean, I know I've only been here a month, but is there a way that, like, how? Like, I know I'm a grown man, right? And I know I'm, I'm like, supposed to be running my own business here, but, like, uh, I'm in a pickle. Can you can you help? And, uh, of course, they tell him what he wants to hear. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll help you. Wink, wink. And, uh, and, and then, you know, it goes on from there. But, I mean, just a classic, classic example of like again right I just made the video yesterday and I didn't wake up this morning looking for like you know <laughs> looking to make another video on like how stupid truck drivers are especially these truck drivers that 
they like it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna sum it up the way I see it. Like looking for a shortcut, right? Like there's gotta be a shortcut to get what I want. I don't actually want to put the hard work, the perseverance, the effort, the energy. You know, I, I want a shortcut to get where I like. Listen, I know that I made all of these mistakes throughout my life, right? I know I've been a real like shitty employee and like you know I know I've had an inability to hold a job and like you know but listen I I want I want I, I'm looking for a shortcut to get to where I should be in my life right I, I need I need help and you're looking towards the trucking industry to like give you that leg up and then I say to myself these people are in 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 complete like fantasy world right this is fantasy like you learn that as a child like there's a difference between reality and fantasy right and um you know good luck to you of course the the end of the video is like something to the effect of there was you know now this company swift of course right oh then there's miscommunication you know and like, I'm willing to take responsibility for my actions, but like, when you tell me there's a way out and then now there's not a way out, like, I mean, come on, man, like, that ain't fair. You know what ain't fair? Is you pretending to be something you're not. That ain't fair. And, and, then, and then you say that you're willing to take responsibility, but you're not. Because the first thing you do is you pick up the phone and you look for somebody else to take care of a problem you created. Am I delusional? <laughs> right? Am I the guy? Am I the one who's seeing this from like a skewed point of view? Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, you know, the way I look at it is I wake up to a boot on my car and I want to play owner operator, right? I want to play, I want to play own my own business. And, and I see a boot on my car, is my first, my knee jerk, my default gonna be to pick up the phone and call my company and hello, can you help me get out of this jam I put myself in? I would like to think not. I would like to think that number one, I'm not gonna be parking at a 7-Eleven. I would like to think that much, uh, but shit does happen out here. And the idea is, is to be prepared for it, right? And when you look at your bank account, it's got a, 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 a negative balance. Is it is the is the smart thing to do to like run out and get yourself into a lease purchase? Is that is that does that make sense to you guys? Right? Or is it does it make more sense to like work for a few years, build up your bank account, get some money, maybe even hey, maybe sort your credit out, get yourself a credit card with like a few thousand dollars on it and and like then maybe decide well maybe now I'm in a better position to find success in this endeavor that I'm that I that I'd like to travel down as silly as it might be but like maybe at that point you're saying well now I've worked three years I put the hard work in now I don't even have to ask somebody to lease me a truck Maybe I could just go out and like get my own truck. <coughs> but again, right? The path of least resistance. That's what people want these days. Nobody wants to work for nothing. I want the path of least resistance. I want the easier, quickest, the easiest, quickest way to get what I want. Or to get where I think I should be. Or to you know, I mean, I'm trying to make it make sense, right? Here I am making a video at four o'clock in the morning because I'm just like, well, while it's fresh in my mind, you know, otherwise, you know, like, and I've said it before, I don't like prepare these videos, right? And, um, but I thought, no, this is too good. This is like, this is like, I woke up and somebody said, ah, here you go. Here, make a video about this. Everything you've been talking about for the last couple weeks. Here's a perfect example. Right? As far as I'm concerned, and, and maybe I'm the one in delusion, 
You tell me. Driver's Lounge, over and out.